I didn't remember much from this movie, so it was good to revisit it. Pretty solid. Welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm your host, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about Reign of the Supermen. It's a 2019 DC animated movie. Should be on HBO Max. Superman is dead. It's been six months since he died by the hands of Doomsday. Everybody is sad, of course. They're trying to move on with their lives. And then all these Supermen pop up to take his place. And I'll talk more about them later. Lois, of course, is sad. It's like she lost two people. She lost Clark. She lost Superman. And she's in a rut. So she decides to reach out to Wonder Woman to see if she knows anything about the Superman. And to just have someone to talk to that understands, like, what she's going through. You know, so they kind of bond a little bit. They, they realize that they're not rivals. Wonder Woman lets her know, like, you know, Clark loved you. Uh, but, of course, she decides to go see Lex because something is always up with Lex. And when she gets there... That's when we get to see all the different super people. So we have Superboy. Uh, he likes to go by Superman, but yeah, he's a boy. And he is run by LexCorp. He's a clone. He's also very horny. That's, every time he meets someone, he's always talking about girls. That's all he talks about. Uh, then you have Steel. It's literally Steel with a cape. You know, Steel, like Shaq played. You know, he has an S on his chest and a hammer. He, he's Steel. Then you have this Visor Superman. He is called the Eradicator later on. He is the most douchebag, I would say, of the Superman. He just goes off whatever he sees, I guess, on the news. Because he comes and he's like, I'm going to kill Lex because they say Lex is a bad guy and he needs to be stopped. Lex wasn't even doing anything. He was just hosting a party. So he's, he's way out there. He's a douchebag. Then you have Cyborg Superman. He's the one who tries to act the most like the old Superman. Like, he's saying he is Superman, and his body was brought back, and, you know, it's kind of part cyborg. So, that that's his story. And basically, these Supermen are in competition to see who can be Superman. Like, the, all the news headlines is just showing each one of them, and it becomes a, a competition that Lex wants to win. So, he gets Superboy put on this presidential detail, so the press can see and he can be, you know, put at the forefront and be the real Superman. And that's where we get the Justice League. And the Justice League is not here for long portions of the movie, but they there, we get their banter back and forth. They don't really mess with Superboy. They don't trust him too much. We get a joke about Cyborg talking to the Cyborg looking Superman uh, by Green Lantern. And it's pretty funny seeing them there doing their thing. But Parademons come in and you know, if we get Parademons, that means we get some dark side and something happens like one of the portals falls on the league and they disappear so they're pretty much out of the movie and it becomes more of a a lois and steel uh buddy cop type movie as they're trying to figure out what's going on with all the supermen everybody can't be doing the right thing essentially and they learn of course that dark side has plans to take over humanity but his plan is to like empower people with these like boom tomb things they put on and they turn into like super strength but they 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 get strong but they lose who they are and that's the whole plan so they have to figure out how to stop most of these super people and get the justice league back to stop dark side of course superman does show back up he's been in his little ship trying to get his energy back essentially so when he does come back he is kind of weak and i forgot that part of the movie i I just remember the, the super people being in it. And it was really cool seeing each one of them fight each other and seeing the different personalities of each of these so-called super people. Well, Steel wasn't really trying to be Superman. He just he was just saving people and being a hero. Uh, but the Eradicator is, like, he's vicious. He, like, takes people out without thinking about it. He is kind of evil, I would say. Cyborg Superman, again, he's the one trying to be more like the real thing and Superboy he just loves the fame and everything he doesn't really care about being Superman like his dad Lex um it's a cool DC animated movie like I again I didn't remember everything that went into it but watching it again was like this is pretty cool you know it it drags a little bit at the end as they're trying to wrap things up and get everybody back but 
the fight scenes were uh, cool, you know, with them fighting each other. It kind of reminded you of like uh, the Avengers when when they fight in Thor. You know, Iron Man is fighting Thor, and then Cap comes in and tells him to chill out. Like all the super people are just fighting each other at first, and then they, you know they get to fight Parademons. Um, we don't really get too much dark side in this, which is unfortunate. It would have been cool to see him, uh, but I like it. I, I like this Reign of Superman. It's pretty cool. If you get a chance, check it out. It's probably on HBO Max. Um, but if you've seen the movie, let me know what you thought about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.